What is up guys, Shotokai Ninja here, which showing you guys how to use Source Filmmaker. So guys, Source Filmmaker, Source Filmmaker is in the beta stage right now, but Steam has released it to everybody. Well, not Steam, but basically Valve has released it to everybody. And I'm going to show you guys how to use it, because I haven't seen any video whatsoever. So the first thing you want to use is to be, well, first things first, you're not going to be able to see a map unless you load a map. That's why it says no map loaded right here. So there are about two there are two ways to load well no there are three ways to load a map. You can right click here, click load map, you can click file, load map, or you press control L. So I'm gonna click it right here. And just 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 for the sake of messing around, I'm gonna open up uh sawmill. I'm gonna click open. So as that is opening up you uh within Steam well it it's frozen right now because it's loading the map. But basically, the, the I don't know why, but this actual, the whole window itself actually tilts to the bottom, to the bottom left corner, but it's in its beta stage, but it, it readjusts itself, as you can see right there. And it's taking a while to load the map. I've been seeing that recently. Some maps load very quickly. Some has, some maps take a bit of a time. Uh, so right here with your, uh, wait, I think, yeah, with your left click, you're able to move around, so... Yeah, so right here it comes up. You have no camera to manipulate. Please create a camera or switch to the word camera. So I usually create a camera. I usually just call it camera one. So it's going to click. Right now it's on the word camera, but I don't want to use that. Change the scene camera, new camera, and new camera one should have been created. So I'm going to click that again. Change the scene camera, camera one. And camera, ro camera one should pop up very shortly. If not, I'm going to have to do this over again. Good. Okay, camera one is there. So, as you can see, I can move around. Now, to move around within the map, you left click and use the WASD keys. So, if I want to go forward, I press W. I want to go back, I press S. If I want to go to the left, I go to the, I press A. And if I want to go to the right, I press D. Now, let's say I want to place a spy right here right there right in front of that little log right there what I'm going to do I'm gonna press animation set editor press plus press a little plus key create animation set for new model since a character is basically a model it's not a particle or a light I'm gonna select the MDL file so with now that don't be discouraged at this point the MDL file is no problem whatsoever just keep on going down until you see players so within players just click it should be there now as you can see I, I'm seeing all the MDL files come out you know the demo man doing his animation certain things like that so basically I'm just gonna pull the MDL file for the spy or the sniper whichever one whatever I want to pull and I'll just pull them right here see it's a spy dot MDL now that now after I've clicked that I'm gonna click open and he should be loading up so as you can see he is right in front of me so I do not want that though. I want to be able to get him and move his exact body in front of there. So as you can see, I cannot when I when I press the plus sign, it's going to open up his body and root transform. Position I can't change this yet. Why? Because the camera is locked in. Now what I need to do to make sure this is this isn't there, I'm gonna have to click Windows, Motion Editor, and you see how this has just changed all over here. That's what you want to be able to see. Now, as you can see, this guy now has like a little circle thing. Now that circle thing is to be able to manipulate a body, because right now, yeah. Sorry about that. I think I've just lost my mouse. <laughs> Okay, no, it's right there. Okay. Let me just move that back into place. Okay. So, we want to move this guy back. So, I'm going to click. I'm going to try to drag it all the way. And he has gone off this map. <laughs> As you can see, I'm, I can move him back and front, left and right. It's it's The, the controls are a bit weird. But as you can see, I could place them right there, because that's position X. And then I can go back, press position Y. 
drag them back down for a bit and I should be able to do that drag him down oh no why well, drags him to the side I'm sorry about that guys I haven't taken math in a long time uh, press Z Z should be able to do that but basically you guys get the point you need to be able to have the motion editor on to drag him down up and down left right and center whatever the hell you want to do with him so as you can see right here drag him down good now we're going to tilt that a bit and then it should show up and move that move that keep that there so as you guys can see that little that pops up so that this this moves him around let's say I want to move him to the left a bit yeah, just drag that out a bit I'm sorry about the lag guys I'm, I'm using Adobe Captivate just to play around and show and see how this actually works but basically once you do that you interject and that's how you basically loading a character that's how you basically load a character that's the first basic thing so guys I shall see you later have a good time and enjoy